Hello everyone, this is Kenny Brony from Cambridge Tech and welcome back. So in the last video, we've looked at models and how we can use the Django Admi panel. However, I would want us to have a better feel of the Admi panel and how perhaps we can customize things in there. So I'll open up the Admin panel. So I'll do forward slash Admin. And remember, we registered with the name or the username Admin and our password was 1234. All right, so this is what we have. We have our products over here. There yeah, are a number of ways we can customize this panel as we see over here. So I'm going to go into my dashboard application folder. Then I'll go into admin.py. Remember, this is where we came to register our model. Now, as far as our model is concerned, as you can see, we've registered a model product over here we can as well unregister a model now when we came here this was given to us by default remember we have groups and we have users we'll come back to groups and users but this time around let's have it in mind that anything we have over here is a model that's in our database so users remember we made a registration and it has gone into users so there's some kind of database that django already gave us there's also one for groups and we have registered products however we can come here and perhaps maybe unregister a model and in order to do that i'll come here and perhaps run some imports so that you can have the model in here to unregister so i'll do from django.contrib.auth.models want to import group all right, so this group we see over here, let me show you these groups we see over here is exactly what I'm referring to. So I'm importing this into this admin.py over here and I can say admin.site.onregister. So when I do dot .onregister, what do I want to unregister? I want to unregister group. So when I save this over here and I come back to come and refresh, you can clearly see that group has been taken off and that's exactly what we are trying to do but then this may be counterproductive but it depends on the kind of um, application you are building and what you really want to do so i'll just uncomment these ones out but then this is just for demonstration purposes so when i uncomment it and that's what we have over here all right then the next thing i would want to do is Let's just come up here i mean it doesn't matter where you put it but let's say we would want to change the title over here so for instance you have django administration we don't want to see django administration we want to have our own title over there so what i can do is i can do admin dot sites dot this time around you're going to say site header and site header is going to be a strange okay so you can see Ken, and that's the name of our um, application, Ken Inventory Dashboard. So when I do Ken Inventory Dashboard and save, when I come here, you are now going to see that the title has now changed to Ken Inventory Dashboard. This time around, you are going to leave this as it is. Now the next thing I would want to show you is um, perhaps the manner in which the items over here display. So when I click on products, we have this listed out this way. There are a couple of ways we can change things over here. So if I should come here, right on top of this, I'm going to define a class and I'll call this products admin. And product admin is going to inherit from the admin that was already imported for us by default so i will inherit from admin dots and i also pick model admin and we can specify a number of things over here so for instance we can do a list a list display so i'll do list display and this is going to be um, some form of a list or a tuple so this is what i'm trying to say as far as our model is concerned if i should come in here and try adding a model we have 
name category and quantity all right so we have name category and quantity and that's what i want to display in a table form so what i can do is what do i then want to display i want to display name and i also want to display let's say quantity so when i save this and the last thing i need to do is to pass in admin project um product admin over here so i'll do product admin so when i save this and come back to refresh you can clearly see that you are now seeing like in a table form we have our name and our quantity over here good we can also add the category so we can do the category over here and when I save this, we are definitely going to have category in our table. So this looks kind of cool as far as what we want to display on our admin panel is concerned. Now, if we decide to, let's say, for instance, bring category at the tail end, it is going to appear as such. So we have to know exactly what you are trying to do. So as you can see, I've now sent category at the end. All right, so I think with this one too, we are going to leave it um, as it is. Let me bring back category over here and save. All right, so we have it this way. Now we can also specify a number of attributes over here within our class product admin. So for instance, we can do a list underscore filter. So then again, we we'll be asking ourselves, what do you want to filter by? We want to filter by category in our admin panel. So when I do this and save, when I refresh, okay, our server is down. So we need to check up exactly what's happening over here. And it says the value for list filter must be a list or a tuple. Okay, so if it is a list you can um let me show you what it actually um, is trying to say so we need to bring a trailing comma at the end over here so when i save and come back to come and refresh now you have this filter by over here now remember the error that came was this okay so the um, dashboard dot admin dot product admin as far as the list filter is concerned must be a list or a tuple now what i'm doing over here is a tuple if i should go by a list then it's going to be the square bracket okay now as far as a tuple is concerned i need to bring a trailing comma over here else it is going to get confused so that was the error it was trying to throw at me and i think if i should rather make this a list I need not to bring um, the trailing comma. I'd like to think so. So let me change this into a list. And if I should save, our server is still running. And if I'm to refresh, we are not having any problem over here. So you just have to know the nuances between the two. If you are using a list as you see over here, then if it is just one item, you don't have to worry about the comma. But then if you are using a tuple, then you de indeed have to bring in the trailing comma over here all right so this is a filter by so as you can see i can filter by stationary and it will pick up everything i specified as stationary in my table for me i can also filter by electronics and food and once again i can click all so that's what i have over here so this is basically some of the things you can do as far as customizing uh admin panel is concerned so i'm going to proceed to show you this now remember when we created a user we have two users over here we have um, our first user as admin and the second as Ken. And remember, I made mention of the fact that admin has some superior permissions as compared to Ken. So we can see that admin has the active checked. It also has the staff status check and the super user status checked as well. But in the case of Ken, you can see that Ken is just active. and. As the reading here goes, let me zoom in a little bit. All right, so as the reading here goes, it says 
this active as it is checked over here designates whether this user should be treated as active unselect this instead of deleting accounts then we have one as staff status so designate whether the user can log in to the administrative panel so clearly because this is not checked that means ken cannot log in into the administrative panel so if i am to for instance log out and try and log in again and this time around i'm going to use ken type in my password over here if i try login we clearly have a problem but then we can log in as admin and admin is going to be granted access now let's come back here and change the status of ken into let's say a staff so once this is checked that means ken can log in into the admin site so i have this and let me save it so ken has been given some kind of permission so i'll log out and i'll log in again and this time around i'm going to log in as ken and i'll come in here and type in my password so when i log in now i've logged in as ken so as you can see you see welcome ken and i can view site change password and things of that sort but as you may have it i don't have permission to view or edit anything okay so once again let me log out and log in as admin and show you exactly what's happening so i'll log in and come to users and if i should go to admin you can see that admin is a super user and the description for a super user as far as permissions are concerned is designate that this user has all permissions without explicitly assigning them and these are the permissions so you can see let me zoom out um, a little bit so that we see the permissions well so as you can see um, admin can do a log entry can add can change can delete and in fact can do everything actually as far as admin is concerned so that is why when we log in as ken even though ken is a staff ken wasn't able to view anything over there so let me check this back and ken is now or ken wouldn't be able to log in to the admin panel so let me log out once again try and log in as ken and we are going to find trouble logging in so clearly we cannot log in as far as this is concerned so it says please enter the correct username and password for a staff account know that both fields must be case sensitive so the the key catch over here is for a staff account and since ken is not a or ken is not registered under a staff account ken does not have permission to be logging in or onto administrative panel so i'll log in back as admin and admin has all the privileges and things of that sort now you find this tutorial very interesting there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel kindly subscribe to cambro tech and click on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be duly notified also feel free to ask any question in the comment section below and i'll try as much as i can to answer them at cambro tech we say learn programming you can do it bye bye